straighten you up. I know you won't believe this, but I already had this set up like way before I started doing this, but here we are cameras falling over all the things. Hi, <laughs> today I'm going to be going over some new beauty products that I'm really excited about. If you hear my dog crying in the background, I'm sorry. I gotta do this though. <laughs> okay, so I have five skincare things and then a few makeup things. And I think I'm gonna start with the makeup and then I'm gonna move into the skincare. Okay, so the first thing is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. So that's what this is. I will show you the wand. The wand kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex wand, but I hate, hate, hate that formula. Um, but I do love the shape of that wand. I have not used this yet. I just got it yesterday. I'm really excited to try it out. Um, I've heard really good things. It's been recommended to me about 5 million times. This came in my BoxyCharm, which is really exciting to me. And I love the packaging. It's like a matte pink. There you go, matte pink everything. Next is something that hasn't launched yet that is launching on the 20th. It is the Lila Beauty um, Glisten and Glow Skin Illuminator in the shade Be Captivating. So it looks like this. It is not coming off on camera quite what it is in real life. It is a peachy mauve rosy kind of tone. I will swatch it for you. Um, there it is on the back of my hand. I have it on my cheeks today and also on my eyelids. If you can see, I love a multi-purpose product. So if you have really dark skin, this could definitely suffice as like an actual highlighter, but I am mostly probably going to be using it for a blush and an eyeshadow, and I'm obsessed. I love the formulation of these Glisten and Glow Illuminators. I have the original shade, which I cannot remember the name of right now, but it's like a champagne gold color, and it's really pretty. It's probably my favorite cream highlight of all time. Should mention this is a cream. I don't know if you could tell. I've gotten that question from some people. It is a cream, it's in this beautiful copper bronzy pebble and launches on the 20th. Really excited about it. I already love it, it's really nice. The next thing, I'm not sure if this is like new, new, but it's new to me. It's the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I got, ugh. oh God. I got the shade Light. It looks really, really light in pan, but it is so good. This is the best contour powder I've ever used in my life. No joke. So easy to blend, so easy to place on the skin. It's just beautiful. I have it on at the moment. I've been wearing it pretty much every day. If you've seen my face on Instagram or anything, this is what has been on it. And of course, as with all Kevin Aquan products, like the packaging is really, really pretty. It came with a little velvet case. It is very small, but the product is really, really, really good. Last makeup bit is uh, these Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. So my favorite one is, without a doubt, Coral Cloud. Um, I brought this with me on vacation. It looks nasty, but I use this all the time. Um, prettiest color. This formulation is so strange. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a cream meets a powder. It's kind of a jelly texture it's no like a mousse mousse you remember that um miracle mousse maybelline foundation i don't know if that's what it was called or if even that's what brand it was from but that's what the texture reminds me of you can use a brush you can use your fingers you can use a sponge whatever i like using a brush with this but the texture is so interesting and it blends like a dream it melts into the skin really beautifully and the shades are really nice i don't know if they have more shades than this but i have four and my favorites are the pinky toned ones. I've actually not, I've swatched this one. Uh, it's called Blurred Buff, but I have not used it. It's actually a lot more brown in real life. It's coming off kind of coral on camera, but in real life, it's very like bronzy brown. The formula of these is so good though. And the texture, it, I don't know, can't be beat. And uh, yeah, they blend into the skin so beautifully. Actually, I'm gonna swatch them for you because obviously that's a thing that we do here. And uh I want you to know. So this one is Pink Sky. I'm gonna do Blurred Buff right above that. That's Blurred Buff. This next one is called Mauve Sunrise. It's a very nice berry. And then this last one is Coral Cloud, which is of course my favorite. It's a corally tone and I just, put it on my bones and so it didn't swatch very well, but uh, that's Coral Cloud. Super pretty, obsessed with these, love them, big fan. Okay, now for skincare. 
Uh, two of these things, or three of these things I have tried now. Uh, two of them I literally just got, so I'm gonna start with the things I haven't tried. First is the Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum 45 PA++++ from Murad. This is obviously a sunscreen. It has avobenzone, homosalate, ox octosalate and octocrylene. And yeah, I love Murad. I'm really excited about this. I'm combo, but I have an oily central of my face and I like using mattifying products, especially in those areas. And sunscreen is the last thing you put on your skin before makeup. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this particular product. They have a whole range of SPFs. They sent me a few. This was just one of them, but they have like a vitamin C one. They have a hydrating one. They have a daily like moisturizing one with SPF all that stuff. So this is the one I'm most excited about, but they have a bunch to choose from. Next product is the Ola Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. So it is called that because it has PHAs in it. Get it? P-H-A-T fat. So this has PHAs in Nordic Birch Sap. It is an at-home facial meant to exfoliate the skin and illuminate the skin. You're supposed to use this one to two times a week and leave it on for 15 minutes. So it's like a a mask basically um, it has a cute little pump and I'm really excited about this I love an at-home facial I love an exfoliating mask I have never used PHAs that I'm aware of so I'm excited to see how this goes next is a product I already made a video on so uh, you can just re reference that if you want to know more about this it's the very cherry bright brightening serum from pharmacy I've used this twice I'm a fan so far I can't really comment further than that but so far so good. Also love the packaging, also just love pharmacy. Um, but yeah, this is a vitamin C brightening serum. It also has hyaluronic acid in it and uh, peptides and botanicals. If you wanna know more, watch my last video. Next is Zinc Screen from Supergoop. I've been using this for about six weeks. It came out about six weeks ago and I love it. It's the perfect mineral SPF for people who have sensitive, oily, or acne prone skin. It has a brightening pinkish tint to it, which seems really scary in theory, but I promise it translates well on the skin. It's literally just brightening, makes you glow. I do not have pink undertones, so I was scared, but so far, I've seen the consensus being that the pink tint is good. I am not a fan of uh, SPFs with universal tint because the universal tint never translates well on me. I may not look it on camera, but I am quite fair. And those universal tints are usually too dark for me. So they make me look like I've got like a layer of dirt all over my face. But the pink tint in this is really game changing. No flashback. It doesn't leave a white cast on the skin. That's what the pink is kind of there to avoid. Um, and it works out really, really well. I love this. Doesn't break me out. Perfect mineral SPF. So if you've been looking for a mineral SPF and you can't find the work, one that works for you because like same, you may want to give this one a try. And lastly is the Volition Celery Green Cream. So this came out about a month ago. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I really like it. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a full review on this, so I'm not really gonna like go that in depth with it, but it is a moisturizer, it has peptides, it's kind of like a light gel texture, it's essential oil free, um, it is really lightweight, but it has really good hydration, and it's really beautiful. It also has hyaluronic acid in it to help you retain that moisture, and uh, yeah, I love it. It kinda smells like cucumbers, which some people don't like, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, the scent goes away really quickly, but it's just, I mean, I feel like that speaks for itself. And yes, I've had this for a month and I'm already almost out of that, out of it. And that's because I've used it two or three times a day, every day, which is not normal. So yeah, those are all the things that are brand new that I'm really excited about. If you've checked out any of these products, please let me know your thoughts down below. If you are interested in any of, the, in any of these products, I'd also love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye.